In ancient Greek religion and mythology, Demeter, Attic, Demeter Demeter, pronounced DMTR, Doric, Demeter Dam Ter is the goddess of the grain, agriculture, harvest, growth, and nourishment, who presided over grains and the fertility of the earth. Her cult titles include Cito, she of the grain, as the giver of food or grain, and the Smophoros, the Smos the Smos, divine order, unwritten law, Foros Foros, bringer, bearer, law bringer. As a mark of the civilized existence of agricultural society, though Demeter is often described simply as the goddess of the harvest, she presided also over the sacred law, and the cycle of life and death. She and her daughter Persephone were the central figures of the Eleusinian mysteries that predated the Olympian pantheon. In the Linear B Mycenaean Greek tablets of c. 1400–1200 BC found at Pylos, the two queens and the king may be related with Demeter, Persephone and Poseidon. Her Roman equivalent is Ceres. Etymology It is possible that Demeter appears in Linear A as Da Ma Te on three documents RZF1 and 2, and KY Za 2, all three apparently dedicated in religious situations and all three bearing just the name I Da Ma Te on RZF1 and 2. It is unlikely that Demeter appears as Da Ma Te in a Linear B Mycenaean Greek inscription PYN 609. The word, Da Ma Te, probably refers to households. On the other hand, si to po tini ya, potnia of the grain, is regarded as referring to her Bronze Age predecessor or to one of her epithets. Demeter's character as mother goddess is identified in the second element of her name meter, meter derived from Proto Indo European asterisk mater. Mother. In antiquity, different explanations were already proffered for the first element of her name. It is possible that da, da, a word which corresponds to je, gi in Attic, is the Doric form of da, de earth the old name of the Thonic Earth Goddess, and that Demeter is Mother Earth. This root also appears in the Linear B inscription E Ne Si Da O Ne, Earth Shaker, as an aspect of the god Poseidon. However, the Da element in the name of Demeter is not so simply equated with Earth. According to John Chadwick, the element de may be connected with Deo, an epithet of Demeter probably derived from the Cretan word dia, dia ionic zia, Zia variously identified with emmer, spelt, rye, or other grains by modern scholars, so that she is the mother and the giver of food generally. Wanix was her male companion Greek, paredros, paredros, in Mycenaean cult. The Arcadian cult links her to the god Poseidon, who probably substituted the male companion of the great goddess. Demeter may therefore be related to a Minoan great goddess, Cybele. An alternative Proto Indo European etymology comes through Potnia and Despoina, where De represents a derivative of Pi Dem, house, dome, and Demeter as mother of the house, from Pi Dem's May Ter. Agricultural deity According to the Athenian rhetorician Isocrates, Demeter's greatest gifts to humankind were agriculture, particularly of cereals, and the mysteries which give the initiate higher hopes in this life and the afterlife. These two gifts were intimately connected in Demeter's myths and mystery cults. In Hesiod, prayers to Zeus Chthonios Zeus and Demeter help the crops grow full and strong. Demeter's emblem is the poppy, a bright red flower that grows among the barley. In Hesiod's Theogony, Demeter is the daughter of Cronus and Rhea. At the marriage of Cadmus and Harmonia, Demeter lured Iasian away from the other revelers. They had intercourse in a ploughed furrow in Crete, and she gave birth to two sons, Philomelus and Plutos. Her daughter by Zeus was Persephone, queen of the underworld. Festivals and cults Demeter's two major festivals were sacred mysteries. Her The Smophoria Festival 11 to 13 October was women only. Her Eleusinian mysteries were open to initiates of any gender or social class. At the heart of both festivals were myths concerning Demeter as mother and Persephone as her daughter. Mythology Demeter and Persephone 
Demeter's virgin daughter Persephone was abducted to the underworld by Hades. Demeter searched for her ceaselessly, preoccupied with her loss and her grief. The seasons halted, living things ceased their growth, then began to die. Faced with the extinction of all life on Earth, Zeus sent his messenger Hermes to the underworld to bring Persephone back. Hades agreed to release her if she had eaten nothing while in his realm, but Persephone had eaten a small number of pomegranate seeds. This bound her to Hades and the underworld for certain months of every year, either the dry Mediterranean summer, when plant life is threatened by drought, or the autumn and winter. There are several variations on the basic myth. In the Homeric hymn to Demeter, Hecate assists in the search and later becomes Persephone's underworld attendant. In another, Persephone willingly and secretly eats the pomegranate seeds, thinking to deceive Hades, but is discovered and made to stay. Contrary to popular perception, Persephone's time in the underworld does not correspond with the unfruitful seasons of the ancient Greek calendar, nor her return to the upper world with springtime. Demeter's descent to retrieve Persephone from the underworld is connected to the Eleusinian mysteries. Demeter and her daughter Persephone were usually called the goddesses, often distinguished as the older and the younger in Eleusis. Demeters, in Rhodes and Sparta. The Thesmophoroi, the legislators, in the Thesmophoria. The great goddesses, in Arcadia. The mistresses in Arcadia, in Mycenaean Pylos, Demeter and Persephone were probably called queens. Wana ssoi, the myth of the capture of Persephone seems to be pre-Greek. In the Greek version, Pluto's, Pluto's wealth represents the wealth of the corn that was stored in underground silos or ceramic jars pithoi. Similar subterranean pithoi were used in ancient times for funerary practices. At the beginning of the autumn, when the corn of the old crop is laid on the fields, she ascends and is reunited with her mother Demeter, for at this time the old crop and the new meet each other. According to the personal mythology of Robert Graves, Persephone is not only the younger self of Demeter, she is in turn also one of three guises of the triple goddess, Kor, the youngest, the maiden, signifying green young grain, Persephone in the middle, the nymph, signifying the ripe grain waiting to be harvested, and Hecate, the eldest of the three, the crone, the harvested grain, which to a certain an extent reduces the name and role of Demeter to that of group name. Before her abduction, she is called Kor, and once taken she becomes Persephone, she who brings destruction. <laughs> Demeter at Eleusis Demeter's search for her daughter Persephone took her to the palace of Celius, the king of Eleusis in Attica. She assumed the form of an old woman, and asked him for shelter. He took her in, to nurse Demophon and Triptolemus, his sons by Metanira. To reward his kindness, she planned to make Demophon immortal, she secretly anointed the boy with ambrosia and laid him in the flames of the hearth, to gradually burn away his mortal self. But Metanira walked in, saw her son in the fire and screamed in fright. Demeter abandoned the attempt. Instead, she taught Triptolemus the secrets of agriculture, and he in turn taught them to any who wished to learn them. Thus, humanity learned how to plant, grow and harvest grain. The myth has several versions, some are linked to figures such as Eleusis, Rarus and Trachillus. The Demophon element may be based on an earlier folktale. <laughs> Demeter and Poseidon Demeter and Poseidon's names appear in the earliest scratched notes in Linear B found at Mycenae and Mycenaean Pylos, e ne si da o ne earth shaker for Poseidon, and si to po ti ni ya, who is probably related with Demeter. Poseidon carries frequently the title wa na ka wanix in Linear B inscriptions, as king of the underworld, and his title e ne si da o ne indicates his thonic nature. In the cave of Amnisos, Crete Enesidaean is related with the cult of Iliothea, the goddess of childbirth. She was related with the annual birth of the divine child. During the Bronze Age, a goddess of nature, dominated both in Minoan and Mycenaean cult, and Wanix was her male companion in Mycenaean cult. She and her Paredros survived in the Eleusinian cult, where the following words were uttered, Mighty Potnia bore a strong son. However, there is no evidence that originally the name of Potnia was Demeter. Tablets from Pylos record sacrificial goods destined for the two queens and Poseidon. To the two queens and the king. Wana ssoi, wana kate. The two queens. 
may be related with Demeter and Persephone, or their precursors, goddesses who were not associated with Poseidon in later periods. An exception is the myth of isolated Arcadia in southern Greece. Despoina, is daughter of Demeter and Poseidon Hippios, horse Poseidon. These myths seem to be connected with the first Greek-speaking people who came from the north during the Bronze Age. Poseidon represents the river spirit of the underworld and he appears as a horse as it often happens in northern European folklore. He pursues the mare Demeter and she bears one daughter who obviously originally had the form or the shape of a mare too. Demeter and Despoina were closely connected with springs and animals, related to Poseidon as a god of waters and especially with Artemis, the mistress of the animals and the goddess of, among others, the hunt. Demeter as mare goddess was pursued by Poseidon, and hid from him among the horses of King Onkyos, but could not conceal her divinity. In the form of a stallion, Poseidon caught and covered her. Demeter was furious Aranus at Poseidon's assault, in this furious form, she is known as Demeter Aranus. But she washed away her anger in the river Leiden, becoming Demeter Lausia, the bathed Demeter, in her alliance with Poseidon. Carl Carini noted, She was earth, who bears plants and beasts, and could therefore assume the shape of an ear of grain or a mare. She bore a daughter Despoina, Despoina the mistress, whose name should not be uttered outside the Arcadian mysteries, and a horse named Arian, with a black mane and tail. In Arcadia, Demeter's mare form was worshipped into historical times. Her zoanon of Figalea shows how the local cult interpreted her, a Medusa type with a horse's head with snaky hair, holding a dove and a dolphin, probably representing her power over air and water. The second mountain, Mount Aleos, is about 30 stades from Figalea, and has a cave sacred to Demeter Melanie. Black. The Figalians say, they accounted the cave sacred to Demeter, and set up a wooden image in it. The image was made in the following fashion, it was seated on a rock, and was like a woman in all respects save the head. She had the head and hair of a horse, and serpents and other beasts grew out of her head. Her chitin reached right to her feet, and she held a dolphin in one hand, a dove in the other. Why they made the zoanon like this should be clear to any intelligent man who is versed in tradition. They say they named her black because the goddess wore black clothing. However, they cannot remember who made this zoanon or how it caught fire, but when it was destroyed the Figalians gave no new image to the goddess and largely neglected her festivals and sacrifices, until finally barrenness fell upon the land. <laughs> Titles and functions Demeter's epithets show her many religious functions. She was the corn mother who blesses the harvesters. Some cults interpreted her as Mother Earth. Demeter may be linked to goddess cults of Minoan Crete, and embody aspects of a pre-Hellenic mother goddess. It is possible that the title, Mistress of the Labyrinth, which appears in a Linear B inscription, belonged originally to Ceto, she of the grain, the great mother Demeter and that in the Eleusinian mysteries this title was kept by her daughter Persephone Cor or Despoina. However, there is no evidence that the name of Potnia in Eleusis was originally Demeter. Her other epithets include Agonipe, the mare who destroys mercifully, Night Mare, Potnia, mistress, in the Homeric hymn to Demeter. Hera especially, but also Artemis and Athena, are addressed as Potnia, as well. Despoina, mistress of the house, a Greek word similar to the Mycenaean Potnia. This title was also applied to Persephone, Aphrodite and Hecate. The Smophoros, giver of customs, or even legislator, a role that links her to the even more ancient goddess Themis, derived from the Smos, the unwritten law. This title was connected with the The Smophoria, a festival of secret women-only rituals in Athens connected with marriage customs. Aranus, implacable with a function similar with the function of the avenging dyke justice, goddess of moral justice based on custom rules who represents the divine retribution, and the Aranyas, female ancient thonic deities of vengeance and implacable agents of retribution. Chloe, the green shoot, that invokes her powers of ever-returning fertility, as does Chthonia. Chthonia, in the ground, thonic Demeter in Sparta. Anesidora, sending up gifts from the earth. Applied to Demeter in Pausanias 1.31.4, also appears inscribed on an Attic ceramic a name for Pandora on her jar. There was a temple of Demeter under this name in Phleas in Attica. 
Europa, broad face or eyes, at Lividia of Boeotia. She was the nurse of Trophonios to whom a thonic cult and oracle was dedicated. Kadaria in the mysteries of Phenios in Arcadia where the priest put on the mask of Demeter kept in a secret place. It seems that the cult was connected with the underworld and with an agrarian magic. Demeter might also be invoked in the guises of Malaphoros, apple bearer, or sheep bearer. Pausanias 1.44.3 Lucia, bathing. Pausanias 8.25.8 Thermasia, warmth. Pausanias 2.34.6 Achaea, the name by which she was worshipped at Athens by the Gephrians who had emigrated from Boeotia, poppy goddess, Theocritus, wrote of an earlier role of Demeter as a poppy goddess. For the Greeks Demeter was still a poppy goddess, bearing sheaves and poppies in both hands. Idol v. 157 in a clay statuette from Gazi Heraklion Museum, Karani 1976 Fig 15, the Minoan poppy goddess wears the seed capsules, sources of nourishment and narcosis, in her diadem. It seems probable that the great mother goddess, who bore the names Rhea and Demeter, brought the poppy with her from her Cretan cult to Eleusis, and it is certain that in the Cretan cult sphere, opium was prepared from poppies. Karani 1976, p. 24. Topic. Cult places Major cults to Demeter are known at Eleusis in Attica, Hermion in Crete, Megara, Selei, Lerna, Egola, Munichia, Corinth, Delos, Preen, Acragas, Iasos, Pergamon, Selenus, Tegea, Thoricus, Dion in Macedonia, Lycosora, Mesembria, Enna, Sicily, and Samothrace. An ancient Amphictyony, probably the earliest centered on the cult of Demeter at Anthel, Anthel which lay on the coast of Mali's south of Thessaly. This was the locality of Thermopylae, after the First Sacred War. The Anthelian body was known thenceforth as the Delphic Amphictyony. Demeter of Mysia had a seven day festival at Pelinae in Arcadia. Pausanias passed the shrine to Demeter at Mysia on the road from Mycenae to Argos but all he could draw out to explain the archaic name was a myth of an eponymous Mysis who venerated Demeter. Genealogy Consorts and children Topic. Portrayals Demeter was frequently associated with images of the harvest, including flowers, fruit, and grain. She was also sometimes pictured with her daughter Persephone. The Black Demeter, a sculpture made by Onatas. Demeter is not generally portrayed with a consort, the exception is Iasian, the youth of Crete who lay with Demeter in a thrice ploughed field, and was sacrificed afterwards by a jealous Zeus with a thunderbolt. Demeter is assigned the zodiac constellation Virgo the Virgin by Marcus Manilius in his first-century Roman work Astronomicon. In art, constellation Virgo holds Spica, a sheaf of wheat in her hand and sits beside constellation Leo the Lion. See also Eleusinian Mysteries 1108 Demeter, a main belt asteroid 26 km in diameter, which was discovered in 1929 by Carl Wilhelm Reinmuth at Heidelberg. Despoina Greek mythology in popular culture Isis and Osiris Poppy goddess Potnia Hades Law of Demeter, a software design guideline named in honor of Demeter. Ningishzida, an earlier Mesopotamian deity connected with vegetation and the underworld. Equals equals notes. <laughs>